In this video, we will use YAM Package Manager to update some of the software packages on this newly started uh, Linux uh, server. So once we've connected, it invited us to run sudo yam update to apply all the updates to this instance. Let's do that. sudo yam update and hit enter. It says the total size of download is 54 megabytes. Is it OK? I say yes by typing Y. Hit enter and it starts updating. OK, the update is complete and I can use YAM package manager to install other software uh, like Apache Tomcat, for example. So in this video, we'll uh, make sure that we have the latest version of Java. So let's check the version of Java that we have installed on this uh, Linux server. Java dash version hit enter and it says that we have java 1.7 it's okay but uh, we have uh, been coding all this time using java 8 so uh, let's install uh, java 8 so if you do a yum list and then type java and asterisk it will list down all the packages it has that match java and we see that we have java 6 available java 7 available and we have java 8 available so uh what we can do we can uh, copy the first part of it for example like this java 1.8 and then do sudo yum and then paste java 1.8 and then hit enter oops i'm sorry i forgot to to type install uh, sudo yam install java 1.8 java 1 hit enter is it okay say yes hit enter and the java installation is complete so uh, now we have two java versions and uh, to select one um, which is going to be used by as default we can use the alternatives command i'll copy and paste here so we will need to use sudo and then forward slash user forward slash has been forward slash alternatives dash double dashes dub, dash dash config space java and if i hit enter now it says that there are two programs which provide java and we have java 7 which is selected by default and newly installed java 8 if we want to keep the current version which is a java 7 we need to hit enter but if we want a different one we will need to type in the number of the line so the uh, number of the line that we want to choose is 2 so i'll type 2 and hit enter and there's another command uh, alternatives as well that we will need to use it's called a sudo and then path again to alternatives dash dash config java compiler and we'll hit enter as well so this should make newly installed java 8 be a default uh, java on this linux uh, instance so let's do java dash version again and hit enter and now it says that we have Java 1.8 um, default. Okay, so uh, let's continue. 